Hi Susan, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload um, an image into your posts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this image right here with the one that you sent me and then hopefully that will help you do it if you want to ever do it on your own. So what I did first is I came to your website. Um, whenever you want to log in, it's always the same. You put forward slash WP dash admin. And this is the same for all WordPress sites. This is how you get to the login. Put in my username, password, Okay, so now we're in your dashboard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to posts. Those, um, what you saw on the home page there, those are your posts. So we'll go to all posts. We'll find the one here. It was, uh, I think it was Faith in Your Journey. I'm going to hover over it and then I'll click on edit. And then um, those images that you see are what you called featured images. So I'm going to scroll down on the right here, on the bottom right, you'll see this thing that says featured image. Now I'm going to remove the featured image and then I'm going to replace it with the one that you sent me. So then I'll click on set featured image and then this takes you to your media library where I could either choose an image I've already uploaded or I can choose to upload a new one. So I'm going to click on upload files and I'm going to browse to the file on my computer. I've already saved it there. Um, let's see. It's under Susan Major images. Here we go. Picture of the lake. Open. Okay, so now it's uploading it to your media library. Um, you can put a caption here. This alt text, what that is, that's alternative text and description. It's important usually to put um, alternative text in here because that tells the search engines uh, a little information and it can help with your SEO. Um, it's also like when you are on a website and you hover over the image and a little yellow box pops up with the name of it. That's how it, that works is with the alternative text. I'm not really sure what you want me to put in there for that. I'm not sure how to describe this. So I'm going to leave that blank and I'm just going to hit set featured image. Okay, now you'll see it in there. Now I'm going to simply go back and hit update. Okay, now how do we go and see if that worked? Well, what we'll do is we'll flip back over to the front end of the website, and we do that by going up here to the left-hand corner. If you hover over your name, you'll see a little link that says Visit Site. And boom, there it is. There's the image we replaced. Now, say we want to go back to the, the dashboard. We hover over your name again. And here we can go to dashboard. Or say we want to go directly to creating a new post. We can hover over new and we can create a new post. Or we can create a new page. Um, so, Or we can go to a different page on your website. Let's say we go to your about page. You can also go directly to editing that page by clicking on edit page here. So play around with that and see, like, learn the navigation, and I think it's going to help you learn how to use this dashboard. The thing that you'll find is that there's no one way to do something. There's usually, like, five different ways to do something. So, like, once again, if I want to create a new post, I can hover over posts, and I can click on Add New, or I can click on Posts and go to Add New here. I can go to Add New here or I can go to add new here. So there's several different ways to add a new post. So you'll find, you know, different things work better in different situations. Um, but usually that's what you're going to be doing. If you want to make a blog post, you'll enter it here. And that's pretty much, well, let's, looks like you, um, 
are working on one right here. Let's go in and take a look at it. So this looks good. I mean, it looks like you might want to take this space out at the top here. I'm going to delete that. And um, this is where you would put in your SEO down here. Um, right now, this is what it's going to look like to the search engines if you don't change anything. But um, if you want it to say something different, like awaken the inner soul, Susan Major author, you can put it in the title right here. Um, I don't want to get into that too deep right now, but I just want you to know that this is where you do your on-page SEO. And whenever you um, create a new post, you're going to want to add a new category. I think I talked to you about categories, and I had asked you to send me some categories, and um, I, I didn't ever get any from you, so I wasn't sure. Maybe you didn't understand what they were all about. Um, but your categories are like, you might have one that's an events category, and you might have one that's like about um, uh, faith, and another one that's about, uh, I don't know, prayer. It's different categories of things that you write about. So the purpose of that is to um, organize your site better. You'll use those categories as links where people can, you know, find different things they're interested on your website. It's also for search engines to be able to find things better on your website. Um, and then tags are another way you can organize that. But basically you don't want to do anything with tags until you have categories straightened out. And then I can teach you about tags if you're interested. Okay, so I'm just going to save this as a draft because I don't think you wanted it published. I'll go back and look at your website. All right, I hope that helped you, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.